uh, welcome to the second part of the Future House tutorial over here. And in the first part we already talked about kicks and drums and those vocals over here. And now we are going on with bass, sub bass, support group, main group and that kind of stuff. And with this we have two different bass sounds here. We have this future sub bass and all those layers and we have this bouncy bass over here in the break part. And we quickly are going to have a look at this bounce bass. It's one of our massive preset packs. I think it's the kick deep square, that one. And um, basically what we're doing is we have a square wave over here and that's all already. And then we have a little bit of, well, the noise is off as well. We are shaping a little bit over here. Well, the most important thing over here is that we are using a square wave from this oscillator over here and then there's not too much happening, a little bit of shaping over here, but that's basically what we're doing. Well, the next element over here in this group is, well, this support group, I call it support group. There's a little bit of, well, quite heavy effect chain going on. Let's start with those over here inside of this group first. Yeah, I just needed this kind of sound next to the other things. I think if you want something like this, you can do a lot of different things. Let's look at the midis first. Well, that's totally from this afterlife from Chami. I tried to rebuild the groove of those synth rhythm elements and that's what, what happens. Um, we are cutting out a little bit of those frequencies over here. There's a heavy uh, compression going on over there, there's sidechain compression over here and the sound, pulse wave over here, math, no noise really, high pass filter over here and some insert effects, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay on top. Let's see how it sounds without this group of effects over here on the group. We also still, that's a mixing thing. So later for the mixing stage, um, I'm really trying to, to clean it up in the lower ends over here and, and emphasize it somewhere where it has to cut through the mix. And there's a ping pong delay over here. There's an auto filter over here, sometimes moving up to give the feeling of something. You see over here, it's filtered up to like have this takeoff kind of feeling and over here we have um, a lot of gluing 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 multiband dynamics and gluing I don't know if that's really so important for a sound like this simple like this but well it's a workflow thing I guess over here and also here we have the amplifier a phaser chorus and the tube is not playing So and this sound over here, Well, I don't think it's the most important element over here in this style, but it's one element that's part of the Chami sound and this one track Afterlife, so I try to put it in here as realistic Future House elements in there. And now we have a look at the um, pass group. Like on top of the pass group, we also have those EQ shapes over here trying to make them cut at specific parts, like all of them. And then there's a little bit of ping pong delaying 
and a little bit of compression over here and the sidechain compression is sometimes off and sometimes active and like the first one is the basic pad and that one is um, just the init patch basically and then there's a square wave over here and then there's a saw wave over there not much happening over here and there's a chorus and a phaser you really notice the phaser So that's really noticeable over here and we have those EQs uh, cut out a lot over here and put a lot on the sides from out of the middle to the sides. Side chaining is not active over here, just forgot it. And over here we have um, an auto filter cutting off some, some high end and then there's um, a reverb on top. Because I don't want to ha have it so brilliant over here. Needed less brilliant, so there's the auto filter. And over here is a frequency filler, I guess. Oh, yeah, we have to look at the chords as well. Yeah, we have side chaining over here, and that's also almost the init patch, but it's a uh, warming highs pad, um, saw wave, a little bit of white noise, a little bit of chorus, and a little bit of reverb. And well, that's the sound. And there's a sweepy pad over here. And that one is a pulse wave. If you want to copy it, just pause your screen. And um, we are cutting off something. And over here with the auto filter, after a side chain, we are really not like refocusing on this part. And later we have some sweepy bass over here that's also an afterlife element. So this is basically just a lot of resonance, um, grown carbon and a saw wave and a lot of resonance. That's how you get that sound. And then you're taking off some of the lower ends and then you're making sure you're not too brilliant and too sweepy and resonant in the high frequencies. And over here, there are some saws. Saw, triangle, bright noise, dimension expander, and chorus. So that's this pad group that wraps it up. Like, okay, let's quickly go to the white noise over here. We have a simple white noise. That one is probably the operator. Yes, um, that's my typical operator white noise. A little bit of side chaining there. And here a little bit of EQing, cut off everything below 8K. Vinyl um, distortion a little bit, you know, from your audio effects. If you go to uh, those audio effects over here, you have vinyl distortion down here. A little more EQing, cutting through the mix later. Chorus applied. And it sounds like this.
So that's the white noise over here. Okay, and then the next part, we are going to uh, have a look at those layers over here and like the main, the main future housing elements in the main part of the song.